Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Spot, and this is Shadowrun Returns Dragonfall. If you haven't watched the previous episode, stop right now. Go back and watch that episode first. Because I'm not going to explain what happened in previous episodes, because once you get too many of them, it's just too difficult to explain. So make sure you keep up, don't start in the middle, and we'll move on. Alright, so, if you remember when we left, we cleared out the uh, front of this mansion, manor, sorry, manor. Um, we uh, open this door at a thing over over here, right? And we cleared out a room over here, which looked like our door, what we want to go to is in, is over there. All right, and, but we want to go in, into here, and the only person with a deck is Monica here. So we are going to jack in here, and what she have? Suppression, reduces the alarm, medic, right? Uh, AOE matrix attack, 75 IP damage, okay? Uh, erodes integrity points, and then 25 for two rounds. I see, okay. So that's a DOT, wonderful. And an assassin ESP. Okay, great. Confirm. Let's go. Where we go? Oh, there we go. Groovy. All right, so. Hello. All right. Um, what we got here? No. No, let's do assassin. Um, put you here. There we go. Uh, first, let's take you. What do you got? What can you do? Assassinate. Okay. 150, wow. Okay. Can I hit him myself? 99%? Come on. Okay, he's gone. Awesome. Now we're gonna... Okay. What do we got? Anything else? Nope. We're gonna... Hey, 50. That's not too bad. You missed? You suck, stupid cube. Okay. Um, actually, let's hit you once. Take you over here. And you, what can we hit you with? This is for two turns. AoE. I do not want to hit my friend there. Will that hit him? Hopefully not. Really, that was it? Ah, oh, dumb. Oh, he's gone. Awesome. Then this turn. Is that cycle? Okay, this is fine. I'm gonna go here. And you are gonna go here. Don't want you want what's in this turn? Don't wanna move up too fast. Ah, because of that. Uh-huh. You. We're gonna go here. What does the assassinate cost you? One? 150. Not a bad hit, if I do say so myself. And I do. 150, 75, 75, two rounds. We'll do with this one. Probably don't even need that. Could have just hit it normally. But that's okay. Awesome data store. Mission item added. Pay data antiquities delivery schedule. Awesome. Cool. Now let's get our butts back over here. There we go. And we are out. Groovy. Okay, cool. So now I guess we're gonna go back over here. Hopefully no one runs in here again. That would suck. Would not completely surprise me, however. Take a drink of coffee. Mmm. Yummy, delicious. Okay. Is there anything to look at around here? No, not really. Okay. You're about to transition to a new location. Continue. Confirm. The Harfeld Manor run. So far, so good. If your skirmish with security set off any alarms, you don't hear them. Monica leads the rest of the team downward into the basement of the Harford Manor. Your payday is waiting. The data vault lies ahead. Technically, I've been leading them. I don't know if you've noticed, but when I walk, everyone follows me. 
Just saying. Just saying. All right. Nitric eyes the door, then turns to Monica. That's a big freaking vault, Lipchin. Bigger than on the schematic. The schematic didn't have a date. Our client may have old intel. Still, our instructions were clear. The data we're looking for should be just on the other side of this door. Monica combs a hand through her hair, parting it to reveal the black plastic sheath of her data jack. A quick jaunt into the matrix, a little digital hand waving, and I'll have this thing wide open. Be right back. A burst of static crackles through the tiny speaker on Monica's comlink. Eager, still in position outside the estate. Hold on, Monica. Who's in charge while you're jacked in? Monica rolls her eyes. Dietrich fixes his stare intently on the vault door. Glory looks cold and distant, just as she always does. We've been through this before, Iger. You're not in the KSK anymore, and that chain of command nonsense doesn't fly in the shadows. We don't need rules and regulations to guide us. The same principles that apply to the flux state. Please, spare me the lecture. Your politics has nothing to do with this. Best get used to it, Egger love. He sighs. Look, it's a simple question. Years of experience tell me that it needs an answer. Eager's right, Monica. We should have a second in command just in case. I agree with Dietrich. If someone needs to take charge, it will happen. We don't have time for this, Iger. We have a job to do. Why don't I take a crack at the door instead? Let me show you what I can do. Hmm. Okay. Monica smiles but shakes her head no. No offense, Jack. But this is my team. And at least for now, I handle the grid work. Okay. Then you need a second in command. Come on, Monica. Put someone in charge and let's get on with this mission. Monica stares at the screen on her wrist for a moment, clearly irritated. Then the twinkle appears in her eye again. She smiles at you as she speaks into her comm link. Very well. We'll do this one Iger's way. While I'm jacked in, Jack is in charge. There's a pause, then Iger's voice crackles out of the comm link again. Jack? Did I hear you right? You're putting the rookie in command? I'm no rookie, Edgar, and you know it. I thought you were a pro, Edgar. Questioning orders in front of the team isn't exactly the pro move, is it? Listen, Edgar, you asked for a decision and you got one. Hmm. Okay. This is ridiculous. I know that this is a joke to you, Monica, but I'm telling you. Edgar, Monica's tone is all business. Evidently, she has heard enough. The decision is made. You have your answer. Acknowledged. Without another word, Edgar's image flickers and fades from Monica's communicator. Sorry about that. Edgar can be inflexible. The legacy of a long military career. But she knows what she's doing, and she means well. It's a legitimate concern. She hardly knows me. As long as she follows orders, she can think what she wants. No sweat. I'll buy her a beer and... Talk it out after the run. Hmm. She hardly knows me. Monica eyes narrow. There's a thin line between concern and insubordination. You let me know if she crosses it. Now who cares about military stuff? Okay, enough chatter. Let's get this done. Monica turns towards the door, fingers poised on the controls of her cyberdeck, then glances back at you with a grin. See you on the other side. Then she punches it. Projecting her consciousness into cyberspace, her fingers harmonizing in the smooth, rhythmic staccato that only an expert decker can achieve. Are people going to run in on us now? Do, do, do. Uh, that is a lot of blood. Without warning, Monica's back arches violently and her head jerks back, silencing her terrible screams. Muscle spasms ripple through her face and her jaw snaps shut, sending a mist of blood spraying from between her teeth. You look down to see a nub of pink flesh hit the floor, the tip of her tongue. Ew. The room explodes into action. Glory leaps toward Monica, her hand outstretched to yank the cord from her data jack. Dietrich surges forward to wrap the team's fallen decker in a bear hug, holding her against the convulsion that rack her body. With Monica's unearthly scream still ringing sharply in your head, you are only dimly aware of the door slamming shut behind you. Help Glory pull the plug on Monica's data jack, smash Monica's cyber jack, to help Dietrich hold Monica down. Uh, 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 let's get it out of her head. While Glory holds Monica's head steady, you snatch the cord that connects Monica's data jack to her cyber deck. Without a moment's hesitation, you give a solid yank and the cord comes free. A wisp of oily blue smoke traces its way from her data jack to the ceiling. The commingled sense of charred meat and ozone fill the air. You've seen the effects of biofeedback before, but nothing like this. Suddenly, Monica's eyes flutter open. Muscle tremors continue to distort her face and blood oozes between her lips. You see the muscles in her jaw tensing and the look of concentration in her eyes. She's struggling to speak. Talk to me, Monica. What are you trying to say? Just stay with us, Monica. Okay, we're going to get you out of here. Let's do, what are you trying to say? 
Slowly, painfully, Monica wrestles her jaw open. The blood welled up in her mouth comes pouring out in a slick covering her chest. She expels a thick, guttural sound that might be a word. Satisfied, she closes her eyes and forces her mouth to make the shape she needs. F f fear With an effort, Monica opens her eyes again and meets yours. You see pain and fear in her gaze and something else. Hope? Fear Then a sudden spasm jerks Monica's head back again. She grunts, then her chin drops to her chest and her head loils to one side. Her eyes fix on an object in the next room, a computer terminal. The soft light of the cursor blinks on its recessed screen. Slowly, she attempts to speak again, but the only sound that emerges is a long, strangled croak. A look of resignation washes over Monica's face, and she stops fighting. Her gore-slick jaw goes slack, and she dies. Well, that was nice. Oh look, friends. Monica, no! No, this isn't happening. This can't be happening. We've got hostiles. This clearly isn't a data vault. We need to get the hell out of here. Actually, get out of here fast. But she should have said, we need to get the hell out of here. Okay. What do we got? Here. You. Here. You. Here. Oh, I didn't want you to go there. Idiot. Okay, you know what? I... You know what? I don't want you to get hit. I'm gonna pull you back a little bit. You know that's going to ruin you. 72. Can I hit you? Hit you. 10. Can you hit him? No, you cannot. Can you hit him? Maybe? Nope, oh, you missed, because you suck. Ow! Hey, you know what this is? This is a really good point for a grenade. Really? Seriously? Um... That takes two, there's no, no way I'm gonna... Okay, oh, I can't even see them. Okay. I'm gonna skip it. Because if I shoot that thing, he runs towards them like an idiot. Okay, you. You're down. Um... I'm gonna go here, even though that's a, probably a bad idea. Hey, that helped. What's up? You... here. Why are we still in combat mode? What we got here? MCPO at MCP. Master Control Program. <laughs> MCPOS Building Maintenance Software Version 1.01. .01, command Line Interface. Internal Memory Checksum Invalid. Jack, 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 jack. Dietrich scans the room nervously. They've sealed the door behind us. We've got to find another way out of here. What are you doing? Like one, I think Monica may have inserted a bug into the system before she died. Monica was telling me, trying to tell me something about this terminal. It must be important. Uh. What's it for? Something tells me we're going to have to more company soon. I don't know yet. Which Watch my back while I figure this out. Stay frosty, Dietrich. Just give me a minute. Text can change to scroll down the terminal screen. A problem has been detected with the core component of MCPOS. Restore MP MCPOS to factory default settings? Yes, no. Warning, restore process will take several minutes to execute. Connected doors and peripherals will be disarmed when complete. Heh <laughs> heh. Hit the key, yes key. And look, I bet we have to hang in there. Processing crest, zero complete sleep. Zero percent complete, I can't talk. As you watch, the number on the screen slowly begins to climb. This is going to take a while. You glance down at a second screen to see that the facility is on high alert. In place of a simple data vault, it seems you stumbled upon some kind of massive underground complex. A map of the Holdfast grounds indicates that security forces are en route from multiple angles. The doors currently being rebooted by the system's restore process are flashing a dull red. If you're reading this display correctly, the only exit from this room is the Holdfast's old servant's entrance on the western side of the building. At the moment, Eager's image winks onto your comm link with a crackling sound. The image is grainy, flickering in and out. What's going on down there, rookie? Talk to me. Edgar, new extraction point. Monica's down, Edgar. The vault was a setup. What? 
I'm sorry, you're, we couldn't save her. Now we have to get out of here. Look for an old servant's entrance to the west of the main grounds. We'll rendezvous with you there. Iger's silence is thick. But when she finally responds, her tone is professional. Roger that. She cuts out with another word. Glory turns to face you, her movement smooth and robotic. Her voice comes out in a frosty monotone. What's the play, Zek? Our escape route will open in a minute. We hold right until then. I say we kill every dirt head who enters this room. How's that sound? Monica found a way to open the doors, but it's going to take some time. Dietrich's pained expression lightens a bit. Of course she did. Thanks to her, we might get out of her alive. Now let's find some cover and wait for the door locks to disarm. When the door locks disarm, we make a break for it. Until then, we make them pay for Monica. Oh yeah. Dietrich's pained expression twists into a mask of hate. His hands begin to glow with primal energy. Yeah. I'm good with that. Survive for 10 turns. I wonder how difficult that is going to be. We'll see. Um, well, the question is, are they going to come from here like those guys did, or from over here? That's locked, so I assume that's where we're going. I don't know if they're going to come out of there. See, I don't even know what's over here, so it could be anything. Uh, or hell, they could come from behind us. Not good. At this moment... Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Moment, I'm going to move here. And I'm going to move here. No, that's not where I wanted to go at all. Okay, that works for now. And then on the next turn, we may have to burn some action points moving back around these columns. We'll see. So far, so good. Uh, yo, woo. You know what we should do? Take this opportunity to reload. There we go. Next. Oh, they did come from behind us. Good play, Spot. Good play, old man. Okay. Can you see him? No, you can't see crap, can you? What are you even doing there, lady? All right. Um... Okay. You. Um. Over here. I don't know if you get anything, but at least you're further away. Uh. Aim assist. Me. Okay. We hit him. 81%. No, we suck. Whoa! That was a good crit. Wow, all right. Missed. Ah, crap. Oh yeah, this this is probably not a good thing. I really need to get rid of this guy. You. You hit him at all? No. You know what, come over here. Come over here. You aim me again? Aim me again. Oh, you know what? I should have used his thing. I completely forgot about that. Crap. Do you have any more grenades? No, use that one grenade only. All military. Okay. Okay. All right. Wait a minute. Is that a gun? If that's a gun, what is that? Ah, crap, is that a shotgun? Or a grenade launcher? The difference is a big thing. Ah, uh, it's not. We're gonna try. You know what? I got one. I'm reloading. Instead of at this round, I'm, I'm this. Yeah, I'm just gonna reload. Alright. Um, end of this turn. Oh, I was worried about that. Yeah, that's bad. Okay. Now what opened? Who else is coming? Ah, oh, crap. All right. You. We've got these nice little clawy things. Hit him. Really? Really? Hit him again. He's immune? Oh, that's great. You. You're a problem. Am I still... Do I still have my aim? I do. 
Okay, that works. What kind of armor is on you, man? Holy crap. Uh... Wow. We suck. This is definitely not, not a team I'd want to take anywhere. Really? Is my aim accuracy still on? Yeah. I've hit him for 30 damage. Holy moly. This is not good. She worries me. 55%? That probably isn't actually a good hit. Nope. Completely burned that now, didn't I? Oh, he healed for 10 HP. Wonderful. Just what we need. Ah, that's bad. This is not very good. Okay. Whoa! That is a big gun. Whoop. Thank you. That took freaking long enough, now didn't it? What do you got? Whoa. Oh, you have a grenade. What is this? Flashbang. Okay, wow, you have a crap load of health packs. Okay, you know what? There you go. And let's put you over here. No, that's not what I wanted to do, but okay. From that reload. I was on the wrong person. Wonderful. Um, you, you know what? Can you come over here? What over here? Over here? Over here. Let me get you out of here. Oh, wow, that guy is huge. Um, two. I can cast that for minus 24 HP? That's intriguing. Um, this is a problem. I need to get... Can you heal me, please? There we go. Helps somewhat. Um, and you... Over here. And you... That look like that guy looks like he has a freaking minigun. That's what worries me. Let's see what we got. Oh man, yeah. That guy is freaking huge. That took long enough. Now, you. Can you do anything interesting? No, you cannot. Can you come over here? I have a feeling this is going to get bad. Hey, you know what? You have a... Heals you or your team are consumed when used. The most basic. No, 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 that's not what I wanted. This. Restores a teammate to life, okay. Okay. Ow. Wow, 14. That's not bad. 7. Almost. The door is unlocked. I don't know if we're actually going to make it out of here, though. Ooh, that's bad. Wow, that missed? Really? How do you miss with that? This guy's the one I'm worried about. Oh, wonderful. We have another... That's, that's freaking great. Okay. You know what? We're going to make a run for it.
Mm-hmm. She's reloading. Well, that's good. How about you? Are you gonna shoot at us? Are you using all your AP? <laughs> yes, you are. Okay. okay. What does it take for you to throw that flash grenade? Two. Make a run for it. Okay. What is he doing? Okay, that was a total AI fail. Run, run, run. I know this may seem like a bit cowardly, but I think the whole point is to get out here alive, right? That's that's the point. We're, we're obviously outnumbered. Hardcore, like, yeah, here's another freaking guy. I mean, this is just... drone. Now the question is, can we make it here? I think we can. Awesome. That means these guys can too. <gasps> when in doubt, run like hell. Ooh, that was stressful. Alright. Sometimes you gotta cut your losses and book them. Edgar rises from her coarse strewn perch at your approach. From the look on her face, it's obvious that she's already sized up the situation. I knew this was going to happen. I fucking knew it. The run was a trap. We can talk about this later. For now, we need to bug out. Monica didn't make it. We barely got out of ourselves. Uh, we need to bug out. Tell me something I don't know. Eager slaps the side of the van. Pile in, people. And Jacques, when we get back to the cruise bazaar, we're going to have a little talk. I think that's cruise bazaar. All right. And that's it for this episode. Thanks for hanging out. And in the next one, we will go for the Cruise Bazaar. Until then, have fun. Stay safe. Bye-bye.